Wow, we're getting a ton of awesome weapons in Fallout 76. I'm going to go over the 100 plus weapons you'll be able to find in Fallout 76. And special thank you goes out to Cal Ryan, who actually data mined the Fallout 76 beta to give us this master list. It is absolutely huge. But also, I have some really cool images and video of some of these weapons, including some really cool rare legendary weapons and examples that you will be able to find on your journey in Fallout 76. So some really cool stuff in here. Remember, by the way, that you can submit your gameplay, your screenshots, and any, any cool findings that you find in the world of Fallout 76. Uh, see that description below if you stumble upon a really super rare weapon, really cool boss, a funny moment, epic PvP fight, anything that you find, send it my way, and I'll be sure to credit you and highlight your clip or screenshot, so get to it. Uh, but yes, let us begin, first of all, with the legendary uh, weapon. So this one comes from Adam Barry, uh, who showcased this weapon right here. It's called the Mutant's uh, Black Powder Pistol. Now, it's so unique because it started as a uh, very rare weapon, but it also offers further bonuses. It says, faster movement speed while aiming. That's critical shots do 50% damage. Uh, damage increased by 10% if you are mutated. So some really cool stuff going on with this black powder pistol. But also, I have heard from the tips uh, that were also kind of data mined from this game uh, that you definitely want to check out these powder uh, weapons for sure. Do not neglect them. I guess if you're really skilled in this game, uh, you could do some major damage with the powder weapons. So don't drop them. Uh, definitely consider checking them out. But a lot of you guys are also wondering about, you know, some submachine guns, stuff like that. You want to move past these single shot weapons. Uh, I'll be showcasing some really cool stuff uh, in that regard. You know, some submachine guns, assault rifles, and stuff like that. So do not worry. Some really cool stuff uh, upcoming here. So let us begin, shall we? So uh, first of all, we're going to start out with the melee weapons and our, move our way to the ranged weapons. Just because that's how the list uh, has been organized here. Uh, and then I'm going to showcase a variety of weapons here uh, during this gameplay. And also some really cool, uh, you know, enemies as well. So enjoy the gameplay, by the way. Hope you guys do. Alright, so first of all, we have one-handed melee weapons. We've got the baton, bone club, uh, bowie knife, Chinese officer sword, kami whacker, croquet, uh, mallet, cultist blade, cultist dagger. By the way... The cult seems to be like it's going to be a big thing here in the game as well. And we're taking down the Honey Beast. I love these things. They are so freaking creepy. Uh, but also we're going to be uh, having a drill. Guitar sword, which is a pretty wild weapon. Hatchet. Knife. Lead pipe. Uh, mach uh, machete. You'll see that I'm uh, carrying uh, this cane weapon uh, in the gameplay though. That thing's pretty cool. Uh, but we also have uh, the Pipe Wrench Ripper Rolling Pin Shish Kebab, Sickle, Ski Sword, Switchblade, The Iron, and of course Walking Cane, which you did get to see a uh, modified Walking Cane there. Uh, pretty OP weapon. Now that one was great for taking down enemies when you were kind of uh, trying to save ammo. And then we've got the War Drum. But Robbie, what about two-handed melee weapons? Let's say I want to go in and really smack my enemy to death so yeah uh, we've got the baseball bat board bone hammer fire axe which i know you guys have probably seen the fire axe around a lot of these weapons can also be further customized with some pretty trippy and awesome stuff as well uh then we've got the golf club gragnac axe uh grognac axe excuse me uh pickaxe pitchfork uh pool cue shovel sledgehammer spear and wood cutting axe. Now, I got to ask you guys real quick. What are you going for? Are you going for a build that uh, is kind of gun-centric? Or are you going after a melee-centric build? Let me know. I'm extremely curious. Now, a lot of the uh, guys that I played with, as you can see, we were mostly using ranged weapons. Simply because we wanted to keep our distance from a lot of these enemies here. Because once you get up close and personal, you, I personally think you take a lot more damage. You can see here uh, this uh, modified 44 Magnum as well. I found that weapon and uh, it was l just like that. So that would be considered one of those more uh, rare weapons that you could definitely find. All right, let's talk about unarmed weapons as well. So 
you'll be obtaining a boxing glove, death tambo, death claw gauntlet, knuckles, mole miner gauntlet, and power fist as well. Now, I don't know uh, if I did show you guys the mole miner uh, gauntlet, but this was submitted by, uh, let's see here, this was submitted by Oliver again. Special thank you to him for showing this off to us. It was called the Bladed Mole Miner Gauntlet. Looks really badass, especially if you are into the melee-centric type builds. Uh, but the thing is, you'll see that it weighs a ton. It's like 15 pounds, uh, but it does a lot of damage. So that one is really cool for sure. And I really want to find that one as well, as well as this Death Claw Gauntlet too. That sounds like it's going to be kind of tough to get, considering it's a Death Claw you got to kill, most likely. All right, let's talk about throwing weapons and grenade types. So we've got the baseball grenade, cryo grenade, frag grenade, grenade pumpkin, hallucinogen grenade, nuka grenade, orbital strike grenade. That one sounds pretty OP. Plasma grenade, pulse grenade, pulse grenade, orbital throwing knife, and tomahawk. Uh, now the hallucinogen grenade, I would love to see that one in PvP for sure. Sounds uh, definitely uh, quite interesting. All right, let's talk about some heavy guns, shall we? So yeah, heavy guns are going to be really cool to check out in the game, but also you got to consider that you're going to have to uh, have enough storage space, enough weight free for these things. So we've got the 50 cal machine gun, flamer, Gatling gun, Gatling laser, Gatling plasma. Now, a lot of this stuff may sound familiar because, of course, it was featured in Fallout 4 and previous Fallout games as well. And then the harpoon gun will be returning. We've got the MG42 and then the glorious minigun. Be cool to have a build that can really cater towards this. I don't know if I'm going to go after the heavy guns at first or not. Simply because of the weight issue, we will see. Uh, but I'm really enjoying the energy, uh, again, the laser type guns and energy guns. And that's the next category we will be talking about right now. So we've got the Gamma Gun, Gauss, Gauss Rifle, excuse me, Laser Gun, and then the Ultrasight Laser Gun as well. Uh, so that is really cool to see. And then also I've heard that the Alien uh, Blaster is going to be making an appearance in this game as well. And then also uh, for rifles, uh, a lot of you guys were wondering about the Chinese Assault Rifle. That was also uh, in the Data Mind uh, weapon list as well. And then we'll be getting the 10mm SMG Regular Assault Rifle Black Powder Rifle. Again, sounds like you really don't want to neglect these black powder weapons. Uh, simply because they sound very, very powerful. And then you've got the combat rifle, handmade rifle, hunting rifle, which I think a lot of us have the hunting rifle. We want to move on beyond the hunting rifle at this point. We're seeing some gameplay of that as well. And then we have uh, the M2 Browning and submachine gun. Uh, so what is next? Now I did show off uh, that uh, 44 revolver, of course, that was heavily modified. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, cool other type pistol weapons as well. Uh, so next up, we have the 10 millimeter, of course, uh, pistol, which a lot of us have obtained. And then the uh, black powder pistol, blunderbuss, pipe bolt action uh, rifle, and then pipe gun, pipe revolver, uh, single action revol uh, revolver as well. So yeah. Definitely some notable stuff there too. Let me know uh, what you guys prefer th prefer there. I want to upgrade my 10 millimeter. I like the look of that gun. Personally, I really do dig that. And then there's the auto version of it as well. Uh, and uh, I really did enjoy playing with that one during my time on the Xbox One. I've jumped to PC, of course. Uh, but yeah, a lot of fun with those SMG type weapons. Definitely. All right, what about shotguns? So a wide variety of shotguns on offer. We're actually playing with the shotgun right now. Uh, you have the combat shotgun, double barrel shotgun, and then the pump action shotgun. Uh, the combat shotgun, if you find that, you're really lucky. I found that again during my play session, my first play session on Xbox One. So freaking OP. And I was absolutely addicted to the shotgun. So from then on, I was like, I'm going to dump some uh, points into, uh, you know, whatever is required for the shotgun. I think that was perception, I think it was, or was it strength? But anyway, 
uh, yeah, definitely going to be investing in the shotgun for sure. Uh, but then we have the exotic weapons and then miscellaneous weapons, including the chainsaw, compound bow, and crossbow, and then binoculars, flare gun, pipe syringer. Of course, that's one of the weapons that we can uh, actually craft at the crafting station at first uh, when we uh, go to the overseer's camp. And then you've got to remember that we've got the presidential Goss rifle as well. Some miscellaneous weapons there too. Let me know again what weapons you guys have found during your journey in Fallout 76. But I have found some pretty cool weapons so far, but not enough in the way of submachine guns. I'm really wanting to find more submachine guns and assault rifles. It's such a pain uh, that I can't find them at the moment. So I'm going to go exploring into areas where I think they may actually be. And I'm hoping to stumble upon some Brotherhood of Steel Remnants, you know what I mean? Uh, that would be really cool, and Enclave stuff as well. Uh, but guys, uh, there is the assortment and list of weapons from Fallout 76. Remember, uh, you can always submit your gameplay, your findings, your screenshots, uh, rare finds, uh, weapons, and stuff like that to me. See that description below if you want to have your clip, screenshot, or weapon featured in upcoming videos. I would definitely love to create videos around this type of stuff that are kind of from you guys' community and your findings. Even if it's like a rare location or even like a, a boss that you've stumbled upon that you think no one has seen, go ahead and submit it. Don't be afraid to submit it. But guys, Thanks for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Fallout 76 and Open World Gaming goodness. And of course, I am covering Red Dead Redemption 2. But guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you back in the wasteland soon enough. Take care.